Hey everyone, it's Caleb Jensen here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. The fact that you are willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to consume my content really does mean the world to me. For those of you that are not aware, I review everything that gets released on Netflix. So if you're ever curious about a new movie, series, or show, if you want to know if it's any good or not, come to my channel and I will let you know. Today we're going to be talking about Ragnarok Season 3. I have been waiting for this. I'm not lying when I say this. Ragnarok, since Season 1, has been one of the best things Netflix has ever produced. It is in my top five favorite Netflix properties. I've loved every single season, and it just goes from strength to strength. This show is amazing. I love it, and the characters, the, well, the actors really embrace their characters, which is something that I love. I love the lore. I love this unique direction in regards to telling the story of Ragnarok. It really is just so, so, so much fun. But before I carry on, but before we carry on, I just want to tell you a little bit about the sponsor of this video. Hey everyone, before this video carries on, I just really want to thank the sponsors of this video. That is the Pokemon Company in collaboration with Solar Pop. Now recently there's been a massive flood of new merchandise and stationery in regards to Pokemon, which has been really cool to observe as a fan. All of this new stationery is available now, and I use it all myself. In fact, everywhere I go, I happen to have some form of this new Pokemon stationery. I mean, I'm using this stationery everywhere I go. I'm using it when I move around with my laptop. I'm using it to take down notes in the new notebook along with all of the stationery that's available. So if you're a Pokemon fan who's also active, who's on the go, who's on the move, then this is definitely something you're going to want to check out. And of course, it's perfect for the little ones as well as they're going to be using it for their school stationery. So guys, if any of this stationery or merchandise calls out to you, if it's something that you're passionate about, if it's something that you want to get, then you can go down to the description below, click on the links, and you can purchase some of it for yourself. So yes, thank you so much Pokemon Company and Solar Pop. Let's jump straight back into the video. So yes, guys, let's talk about Ragnarok Season 3. I love it. It's a fantastic continuation of the story. The conclusion is amazing. I have loved this series. Ever since I watched season one, I've done a review for every single season. It has been one of those shows that no matter what, where I am in life, how I'm feeling, I will sit down, watch the show, and enjoy it. And so, as I said, season three just continues to take the show from strength to strength. We have action sequences, we have great storytelling, we have character development, and flip just so much tension and suspense. Magna and his brother are really facing each other off right now in this season. It is just palpable. You can feel the tension between them and you can really just feel the conflict brewing amongst all of these characters. And we also, something that I really loved about the season is we really feel Magna experiencing his power. You know, his, his confidence grows exponentially in this season. And in fact, it becomes a character flaw of his. His confidence becomes cockiness. He, he becomes too big for his boots. He bites off more than he can chew. And that was a great, great, you know, evolution of his character, especially from season two, where he didn't have that confidence. In fact, he wanted his powers to be taken away from him. He didn't want to have to deal with the consequences of having those powers. And so he's done a complete 180 in regard to his character development in that regard. So look guys, I'm gonna be keeping it short and sweet. I don't wanna give away too much about this show. Just trust me, season three is amazing. It is a ton of fun. If you enjoy the first two seasons, you are going to love this season. They took what you enjoyed about the first two seasons and they got rid of what you didn't enjoy about the first two seasons. They made sure that this was just pure and adulterated Ragnarok, Fantastic performances from the actors, great character development, the script was amazing. There were a few parts that I felt like character developments were rushed a little bit, but across the board I thought it was great, it was enjoyable, it was a ton of fun, and honestly, it's just hands down one of the best things on Netflix. So yes guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching this review. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a like. Do not be afraid to subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you again in another review.